When you were a kid, what did you dream of becoming when you grew up? Um, I considered two things. Um, one, to be an attorney. I wanted to uh, go to law school, but that was as we got later in, in my preteen years. But I also wanted to do fashion design. Um, so that's, you can see by what I'm wearing, it's very outside the box. There. Who was your hero? First, my, my very first hero, of course, is, is my mother. Uh, my mother um, was a widow and raising three children. And as um, I went back to school, she did as well. And uh, she graduated with a nursing degree and is still in nursing after all these years. And she'll be 70 this year. What was the hardest thing that you had to overcome when you were growing up? Hardest thing for me, it was um, self-esteem was a big thing for me. And, um, you know, I had issues in school. I remember having problems with math. Math was a really big issue for me. Did you ever get bullied or have any sort of problems with other kids like that? You know, I didn't get bullied, but I was in trouble um, a lot. You wouldn't think being in the line of work <laughs> that I chose that I would be, but I spent a lot of time in the principal's office. Were your years as a middle school student easy? No, they weren't easy at all. Um, again, I, I enjoyed school, but there was always this, these clicks, things that I really never got. And, you know, when you don't feel that good about yourself, it's kind of difficult to fit in sometimes. Would you say you were a straight-A student throughout um, school? No, I wasn't a straight-A student throughout school. Not even throughout college. And I think that's what a lot of uh, young folks think, that you have to be a straight-A student to go to college. And um, that wasn't the case for me. I did, I did okay. You know, I did C's and I did B's, and I always got an A in gym, so I was always proud of that. <laughs> but I was not a straight-A student. Why did you choose to become a police officer? Well, my first, one of my first choices that we talked about earlier, um, of course, was law school. And at the time, I, at being a single parent, it just did not um, fit into the schedule to try to raise a child and do law school at the same time. So um, law enforcement was really the next logical step. So I chose law enforcement career and, and have been doing that so far for going on 21 years. What are the primary jobs as a police officer? Well, as a police officer on the street, your primary job is to protect the community. And that happens in a number of ways. Um, of course, there are the physical parts of the job, which a lot of folks see on TV. You know, when you're making an arrest, um, you're handcuffing someone, doing investigations. Um, car chases every now and then, although very controlled. But a lot of, of community interaction, and I think that's probably the best part I like about uh, the job, is the community interaction. What is your greatest accomplishment? My greatest accomplishment, I would probably have to say, one is my daughter, um, and, and two, hopefully, will be my granddaughter. You know, we can get a three-year-old under control. <laughs> That's one thing. But I, I would also have to add my accomplishments here at work. Um, we've done a lot of community programs I've been very proud of. And, and my achievements here as well have, have been really prideful moments for me. Which ones were your favorite to work on? Probably my favorite community project was the Latchkey Kid Project. And the Latchkey Kid Project, for anyone who ever um, was a kid of, of working parents as I was, and you had to let yourself in um, in the evenings after school when you came in. One of the things that we, we did with the Latchkey Kid Project was we taught safety for kids who had to let themselves in. And that was ways of recognizing if you came to the front door and it was open, you didn't go in. You went to a neighbor's house or you went um, to the local grocery store where you could call the police and have someone um, help you. Was there an experience that may have taught you a lot but was very challenging for you? Being a single parent was extremely challenging. You're trying to make appropriate decisions for your child, as well as being a young person yourself and trying to make decisions for yourself. Again, you have a lot. I've had a lot of support with um, family and friends and school, and, and to me that was key. And although it was a difficult situation, it was a great learning experience, and it allows me actually to lend that experience and help other folks who were going through the same thing when I was younger. Were you ever discriminated against because of your gender, career, or anything else? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a male dominant field, so um, I have been. But one of the things that I learned early on is when you, when you are faced with those types of things, that you must address them head on. What advice would you give our viewers? If I had any advice to give, would be um, to go easy on yourself. Um, it's a difficult time in your life, and, and those of us who have been there recognize that. And to make sure that when you're having problems that you talk to your parents, or you talk to your guardian, or you talk to your counselor at school, 
Because although there may be times when you think that you don't have support and you don't have help, it is there. And to seek that help. A lot of times we don't want to seem that we are weak or that um, it might be embarrassing to do that. But to try to work past that. And when you have issues that you go and tell somebody.